My name is Paul Vasco. I'm a scientist in the medical department. The rat is a very important model in medical research. PET is used with rats quite a bit these days. However, the rat has to be anesthetized to do the scan. However, the anesthesia disrupts the normal brain function. So when you're looking at brain studies, this is a big problem. But it's the only way that people could do PET scans on the rat model. What we did was we miniaturized the PET scanner so small that we can actually attach it to the rat's head. And this is the actual scanner that we've built. Inside here, there's actually 12 PET block detectors with 32 crystals each. There's about 400 separate PET crystals in this ring. Everything's been miniaturized to the point that all the connections come out on this single flexible fiber. There's high voltage going in, there's power going in, there's signals coming out. So this flexible connection and the compact electronics inside there allows the animal to move freely within the enclosure. This can give us not only better information about the brain because the anesthesia is no longer there, which can potentially corrupt the data that we're getting, but it also allows us to measure the behavior of the animal at the same time that we're getting the brain data. There's a whole field of neuroscience called behavioral neuroscience where people only look at the behavior of the, of the rat in order to infer the function of the brain. This allows us to actually look at physical processes in the brain at the same time. So there's a lot of excitement about being able to correlate these two different data sets to learn uh, potentially much more about the brain.